Uh, an evening at the pub would be nice, but uh, don't be drinking and riding. <laughs> Good evening everybody, Calm Biker here, it's the bank holiday, unfortunately when you work in retail that doesn't exist so it's uh, <laughs> it's evening on the bank holiday, well tea time, I've never seen these roads this quiet at this time, what is it, <laughs> kind of uh, rush hour time, normally these are pretty busy. Oh, it's been, uh, it's been a weird one today, it's been a really miserable day all day, but I've been looking at the weather forecast and it said at 4 o'clock it's going to start to brighten up and at 5 o'clock it's going to be sunny, oh, for once they got it right. So I've been looking forward to my ride all day, but I got stood up <laughs> last minute, the person I was going for a ride with couldn't make it unfortunately, so uh, I'm going to make the most of it. And... Uh, Go for a ride by myself, go and have a cup of tea at the, the uh, Biker Cafe, see if anyone's around. But I haven't got a topic, so it's going to be a random babble. Tower of Babel. So I don't know what I'm going to say. Got somebody coming up right up behind me. I'm doing about 30 in this 30 miles an hour zone. It's one of them... I was reading about the, um, the idea of speed limits the other day, and there was a chap who's an expert in road design who was talking about the natural speed limit of a road and how uh, it doesn't really matter what the speed limit is every road has its own natural one so if you're on a a road that's a national speed limit where you're allowed to do 60 but it's twisty you'll go a bit slower maybe or maybe you won't <laughs> but you know everything's got its own kind of natural rhythm to it and a natural speed and it says that it's not a good thing that they're now putting speed cameras on roads that have a natural speed of 50 or 60 miles an hour but they've stuck a speed limit on a 40 even when there's nothing around. I mean this has got a speed limit of 30 because of all of the roadworks that are going on only there aren't any roadworks going on because the roadworks only happen at night so why it needs a 30 miles an hour speed limit at all I don't know and uh, it's naturally much faster than that which is why and that's probably the first time it hasn't happened but why normally people come flying past you when you're actually doing 30 on that road as I say it's got a 30 mile an hour speed limit on it so I'm doing it just to be nice just don't want to get uh, caught out especially on a bank holiday when you get a few more police around looking out for us looking out for us speeding that is not necessarily looking out for us <laughs> but um, yeah, on a night when they're doing the roadworks, when there's actually someone there to be protected by the slower speed limit, they're closing the road anyway. I like this road. This road has a natural speed limit. And uh, this bit of it's 50 and then it goes to a 60, but this really isn't the natural speed limit. This is one where you want to really have some fun and you've got to keep an eye on yourself. Got to doubly keep an eye on yourself today because it's been raining all day. It's only the last hour where it's dried out. And uh, under these trees, it will no doubt be damp and slippery. Although I've got uh, I've got good sticky tyres on, so should be all right. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh, this one's going to spoil. Oh, he's turning off. Excellent. Don't you spoil these bends for me. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yes. I really like these bends. <laughs> they're not that challenging, but they're fun. Whee! It's very easy to get carried away on this road because you don't ever really need to slow down. And they have this sign here. Ben's dead ahead. Only the question mark is after dead. Uh, I don't think they get it. They put these signs. That intimate a death. <laughs> but they always put them near the best bends. 
<laughs> so to, to me it's just telling you where to go <laughs> it's basically saying if you go down here fast you're gonna have a good time <laughs> Bye bye! These are better turning, check mirrors. I was reading a bit of research the other day and um, there were some figures put out, I think they were put out by the police and the government saying that most accidents for bikers were single person accidents. As in, you went around a corner too fast and you fell off or you crashed by yourself. And I was reading some uh, research the other day that said that there seems to be no basis for that at all and actually most accidents that bikes are involved in are caused by car drivers not seeing the bike. So uh, yeah, that, that sign I definitely approve of. Check your mirrors before turning. You should know that anyway, but you know, it's a good one. I like that one. I was going through my... Uh, subscriptions the other day my watch later list now I've actually got to the end of my watch later list goes up every day by about 10 videos but every so often I have a have a bit of a watch get through them all sometimes I have to watch them at time and a half <laughs> I don't mean paid time and a half that would be lovely but at one and a half speed depends on how fast you talk if I talk really slowly like this you'll be able to watch this at double speed quite happily I was um I got through that list and then uh, I thought, well, what do I do now? Um, and I thought, well, no, I'll just have a bit of a bit of a peruse of the old YouTube, see where it takes me. Based on my subscriptions, it starts to recommend things. Uh, so I watched a few videos from the um, the Hydraulic Press channel. I don't know why I love the Hydraulic Press channel, but I love the Hydraulic Press channel. If you haven't seen it, it's worth a look. I'll put a link down below if I remember. But essentially it's just a guy with a hydraulic press. He sounds to me like Islander, the, uh, the motor vlogger from uh, Tallinn. Estonia. He sounds a bit like him, but to be fair, I struggle to tell the difference between a lot of the Northern European accents. But it's just a guy, he just squashes things with a hydraulic press and it's wonderful. <laughs> and the way he talks because of his accent, I just love the accent. Now we are going to squash this special balloon. Balloon, something like that. <laughs> this tiger is very dangerous and could attack at any second. And he squashes a tiger. No real one. He's not an American doctor or dentist. A plasticine one. Yeah, I was going through all these videos and he started recommending uh, daily observations. And. Uh, I uh, yeah, like my random clippage. When I did the random clippage, I thought, that's a big thing, isn't it? I didn't think that's a big thing, in it? I thought, what do I call these? Because Royal Jordanian's got his uh, random clippage and a few other people have got... No, Royal Jordanian has Royal Jordanian's got daily observations and a few other people have called them different things like stuff what I see or, you know, things like that. And I thought I'd go with random clippage because nobody else seemed to have that. I did a search to see if anybody else had used it. But anyway, it came up with daily observations. I thought, oh, it's Royal Jordanian. And uh, it wasn't. And uh, it just started recommending video after video after video, all daily observations. Has daily observations now become a, a generic term? Will Royal Jordanian be getting annoyed? in the same way that Hoover get annoyed when people call uh, Dyson vacuum cleaners the Dyson Hoover the same way that I got told off when I was working for Porter Cabin for talking about Porter Cabins when I really went uh, temporary buildings I was told many many times after a while I just said Porter Cabins for everything just to annoy them see if anyone's at the cafe or if it's shut I never know the opening hours of this cafe Pretty empty. I guess it's shut. It's shut. Why would you? Don't understand the logic. It's a biker cafe. It's a gorgeous evening. And it's a bank holiday. 
Why would you shut? Fly birdies! <laughs> Tried to take my head off. The actual reason for coming out was just to uh, try and bed in my new leatherers. I bought yet another set of leathers. This is my third set. Well, I mean, if you take jackets into account, it's fourth or fifth actually. I've spent a disgusting amount of money on leathers now. Absolutely disgusting amount. I'm going to have to sell my old ones to try and recoup a bit, I think. But, uh, pretty, isn't it? Don't ask me what it's for, I can never be bothered to stop and look, but... Pretty. It was a place where uh, we stopped here when I was first starting to do my IAM. Just to talk about road position and how you can see further by uh, being at different positions in the road. We all stopped and walked about on the road. Oh, Mavericks! Mavericks! Just walking about on the road, looking down. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I keep buying leathers. I think I've finally, finally found a set that fit. And that's been my problem, is fit. I can find jackets to fit, easy peasy. But uh, trousers, real problem. I wanted something that I could potentially take on a track if I wanted to do a track day. Um, I'm doing the knee down course with eye to eye so I wanted something with knee sliders on I've already got I mean that wasn't why I bought the first set of leathers because I've already got leathers with them, them things on and you know that ability to go on a track but I bought a, a one piece suit big romper suit and uh, it was alright I mean well actually I mean it's better alright yeah, it's very very good indeed and uh, it's great quality and it's still in very good condition if anybody would like to buy it. <laughs> what it wasn't very good at was fitting me. So I could get it in all right. The legs seem to fit fine. But because I've got short legs and a long body, <laughs> the top half was a bit cramped. And especially with my shoulder still being painful, um, it, it doesn't really work. So, um, so that's going. Someone's going to get a bargain. And then I bought a jacket and uh, trousers, leather. Again, a, a two-piece suit, I suppose you call it. And uh, I get the other problem with that one, that it actually fits all right, but the stretch bit in the, uh, in the gentleman's area tends to get in the way. So it stretches a bit too much when you're kind of leaning one side or the other and gets in the way a bit. And it makes me uh, makes my legs feel even shorter. So I finally seem to have found some leathers that actually fit. Woohoo! Because there's always a problem with these things. I found that this set, um, I was keen that it, I could put a back protector in. None of them seem to come with a back protector now. So I was keen I could put a back protector in. It says you can. And then I find it's not a standard one. It's one that clips in. So I've uh, I've been looking for back protectors for it. I've only had a quick look but I think I might have to get one of them ones you wear because the cheapest I saw clipping one for this was 85 quid! 85 quid! For 85 quid I want it to massage my back as I go along. Another one of them towers. Again, still don't know what it's for. I'm sure it's for something. Yay! Got a wave really must practice my breaking in bed some more. I said I'd do a video, didn't I, about that um, full control, all those exercises. I'll have to do that now that it's starting to get a bit nicer. Although, when I first said I was going to do it, I said uh, I was a bit concerned about the whole breaking in bends bit. And um, I'm not anymore. Not in the least. I've been talking to a few people about that and uh, they all look at me like I'm crazy when I say about using the front brake heavily in bends, but nothing happens. Well, something happens, you go slower, but that's it. Eek. Slippery stuffs. Wouldn't you rather be doing this than watching the news? The news will be on about now. Telling us why we should stay in Europe and why we should leave Europe. 
everything based on the economy. I'm not supposed to do politics or religion, so I won't. But I will just say one thing. When are they going to start making arguments based on the idea that we're a society? Do we no longer live in a society? Do we now live in an economy? I think we're no longer, well I was going to say citizens, but we're not citizens here anyway because we've got a queen. But um, we're no longer people, we're just consumers. So let's consume some petrol. <laughs> i tell you what, they keep telling us not to use these roads like racetracks, so they, they should stop making them look like them. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Not many racetracks have articulated lorries coming the other way. There's a question for your chaps and chapesses. How many ride outs would you like me to organise? I've done one this year. And I was wondering whether to um, stick with just the one. Oh, it's slippery down here today. So we spilt something. So just to uh, stick with just the one, or should I do two, three, four? Let me know in their uh, comments. Nod, 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 no nod. Miserable, miserable. Pretty isn't it? I do like Scarborough. Well, I think uh, I think that'll do for a video. I think that's probably way too long, and I'll end up chopping lots of it out. So I'll just say thank you for watching. Ride safe. Enjoy this view, and I'll talk to you all again soon. <coughs> Funny how these things turn out. I go for a coffee in Scarborough and as I'm leaving who do I see but Lee <laughs> who's getting buzzed by seagulls <laughs>